see the same thing underneath the radicand. The radicand is this thing right here. And these are all square roots at least. That's nice. So how are we going to attack this? We're going to try to build the same one, right? We're going to try to build the same one. So how do we, what should I do to this first one? What should I do right here? Factor, yeah. Factor out of 3 and a 9. And I'll actually I'll stop there because do you know what the square root of 9 is? And there's already a 9 out front. So what is it going to turn into? Well, 3 times 9 times the square root of 3p squared. Because this, this 3 stays, right? And the p squared stayed. But this, this 9, what did that 9 become? That 3. So we're not done quite yet because what's the square root of p squared? P. P. So what do we end up with? 27p times the square root of 3. And then right here, what should you pull out of 108? It's 3 and what, 36? What's the square root of 36? 6. And the square root of p squared is? P. So you can pull out a 6p. What's 6 times 14? It's going to be 60 plus 24, which is? So this turns into minus 84p root what? 3. What about 48? It's three, it's 3 times what? 3 times? I'm looking for squares. If you get lost, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you get lost trying to find squares, just do the factor trees that I've taught you, right? It's really okay. So if I did this, like, oh, it's 4 and 4. Oh, were we looking for a square to begin with? Sure. So we can pull out that 4, and what do we end up with? What's 4 times 2? So we ended with 8 p root what? 3. And now can we combine all these things? Yeah, now you have 27 minus 84 plus 8 and we're home free. It's 3 times 39, which is 3 times 13. So what can you pull out? So you end up with 30 root. So make those trees. Make those trees. Um, someone asked about 90, I think it was. Yeah, go ahead. Right here. Can you just clarify what exactly you're doing this? I've been doing a really poor job of writing those today. For some reason, I don't know. So you want to find the fourth root of all those things. What does fourth root mean? What power is that? One fourth. So it's going to be negative 32 to the one fourth, k to the fifth to the, m to the tenth to the. And what do you do with powers of powers? Yeah, 32 to the one fourth. So it's k to the. 5 fourths, m to the 10 fourths, but what is 10 fourths? Yeah, so you get k to the 5 fourths and m to the 5 over 2. You're not quite done yet because you can do something to this. Let's factor 32. It's not, it's not totally clean, but it gets a lot nicer. Uh, 8 and 4, sure. So you can factor out a 4 and a 8, but what does 4 factor into? 2, 2, 2, and 2, right? How many twos do you see right there? But it's fourth root. You can only pull out four, right? Those go away. So it becomes negative two times the fourth root of two, k to the five fourths and m to the five halves. You could leave it. That's a little mixed. I mean, that's that's radical and that's radical and exponent form together. That's totally fine. Or you could write it as if you really wanted to. Negative two times two to the one fourth k to the 5 fourths. And what do you think the only reason is I'm putting in those parentheses? Just so it, it's clear. Exactly. The only reason I'm putting the parentheses is that's super clear if you wanted to write it like that. Can you write it in radical form as well? Absolutely. You could. It's a little bit messier. You're going to end up with negative 2 times the fourth root of 2 times uh, what root? The fourth root of k to the fifth times the square root of k to the fifth. Two and k to the same. Oh, so you want to, you could, yes, you could then put them together. You could, these two you could put together. You could write it as negative two times, yes, you absolutely could do this, um, two k to the fifth to the what power? One fourth. Are these the same? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are there essentially innumerable, there's lots of different ways to write the same thing, yeah. Either way is fine. But, yeah. okay. If you got to any one of those three, I would give you full credit. To answer your question, four times. That is two. So this one is left, so you're left with two times the fourth root of two. Because all four of these together multiply. What's the square root of two times the square root of two? Two. What's the cube root of two times the cube root of two times the cube root of two? Two. 
what's the fourth root of two times the fourth root of two times the fourth root of two times the fourth root of two? Two. So if you have the nth root and it's n times, it would be just the thing, whatever else is underneath it. Power square root. And you should know, what's the square root of 25? So you have negative 5, t to the 6th to the 1 half, s to the 20th to the 1 half. Powers of powers, what do you do? So it's t to the 3rd, s to the 10th. All done. All right, so what's root 5 times root 6? Root 30. What's root 5 times 1? 3 times root 6? 3 times 1. You're done. There's nothing to do to that. There's nothing to do. What about this one? What's 7 times root 5? What's 7 times root 2? Oh, negative. What's, what's uh, root 3 times root 5? Negative root 15 and negative root 6. You're done. There's nothing else that can be done. If you started factoring and if you started doing creative stuff, what would you end up back at? The same thing. The same thing. This has accomplished the goal of getting rid of all the parentheses. So first level is just getting the parentheses. Sometimes will you be able to uh, simplify? Uh, so on this one, do you guys agree it's going to be 10 minus 3 because the middle thing cancels out? What about this one? That means root 7 minus 3 times what? Is that the same exact thing as this? No, it's not. What's the difference? Plus and minus. It is not plus and minus right there. What's root 7 times root 7? Well, it's oh, just 7. Yes. Minus 3 root 7, minus 3 root 7, plus 9. How many root, how many root 7s do you see? Minus 6 of them. So you end up with 7, 7 minus 6 root 7 plus 9, but then 7 and 9 added together is? Minus 6 root 7. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah, you know 25 is in there, right? And then... What's the rest of the answer? Anybody have the rest of the answer for me? Yeah, what's the rest, Katie? What? Close. The challenge is this is cube root, right? Yeah, but once you do it out, it's... Uh, so you end up with 5 cube roots of 3, minus 5 cube roots of 3, right? Oh, minus 3. But minus what? So these cancel. Root of three the root Yes! That is absolutely correct, Katie. 25 minus the cube root of 3 squared. Fantastic. That's great. No, because the cube root of 9 is not 3, right? That was awesome. That was fantastic. Usually when people say cube root, they forget about the square root on the inside. This is fantastic. Look, so is everybody okay with those two things so far? Here's the first three, right? So you got that, that, and this. But look, it's going to be negative cube root of 3 times the cube root of 3, right? What is the cube root of th What power is cube root? It's one half. Yeah, it's one third. So it's going to be negative this and positive that, right? Yes. Negative three to the two thirds, right? Which is the cube root of three squared. So you end up with twenty-five minus the cube root of. Perfect. It's great. What about this one? What's this come out to be? Yeah. Came Yeah, it just came out as y. It's awesome because here's why. What's k? What's root k times root k? Which is just k. Right? It's the root of k squared. Then you get minus root y root k plus root y root k minus root y root k. Oh, root y root y, right? Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. So what does that become? k, these go away, minus, yeah, that's it. That's it. Technically speaking, if I asked you, can you simplify square root of 7? No. There is something that we haven't talked about yet because it hasn't become useful. It will later. Having radicals in the denominator sometimes makes life harder. We like to get rid of the radicals in the denominator. It's called rationalizing the denominator. Right now, the denominator is not rational. Root 7 is what type of number? It's an irrational number. So we want to create something that this is equal to that has a rational denominator. What's the only thing we're allowed to multiply by and keep the overall value of the expression? Uh, square root 7 over square Yeah, it's 1. So the fancy form is going to be root 7 over root 7. We're allowed to multiply this because it equals what? 1. So you're going to end up with 3 root 7 over 7. Because root 7 times root 7 is 
7. What we've shown right here is that 3 over root 7 is equal to 3 root 7 over 7. They are the same. But what have we done? We've gone from an irrational denominator to a rational. We have rationalized the denominator. Kind of every time I say this, it feels like I need to be like in a court, like be rational. I don't know. Okay, it's the best joke I got. With 5 root 10 over 5 cancels and you're left with root 10. Okay, the next one, you're right, it's negative this. I saw a lot of people doing that, which is great. What is root 18? How can you, what does that turn into? Negative what? 9 and 2, so it's negative 3 root 2. Over, what is the largest square factor of 125? 25. So it's going to be 5 root 5. What do you have to multiply by? Root 5 over root 5. So you end up with negative 3 root 10 over 25. There it is.